I am here in Las Vegas, Nevada at CES, and uh, behind me is Nissan IMX Concept. And the reason I'm doing the video about Nissan Leaf in front of the IMX Concept car, because I think this is the only one that has a chance of having an active thermal management system, because unfortunately the news today is what we've kind of expected is that the new batteries that Nissan Leaf is going to have uh, for their Nissan Leaf, uh, yes, the good news is going to be LG Cam instead of their own battery, which is a huge upgrade already. Um, also, it is going to have a 225 mile range option. Uh, and we did expect that. However, what I really was hoping for is that they are actually going to have an active thermal management system, something that everybody has been you know, asking them for, for years and years and years. One of the biggest issues with Nissan Leafs has always been the, the, the issues with the batteries because there is no um, active thermal management system uh, ever at a, in the Leaf. Now, yes, they're claiming that this is gonna be good enough and the, 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 you know, the, the, the passive system is good enough for these batteries and they're have a warranty and all of that stuff but why not do it everybody else is doing it i really can't think of any other brand that that has a legitimate electric car in the market or at least in works that wouldn't have an active thermal management system and basically uh you know just for you guys if you don't know what it is it's basically when the uh, liquid is being pushed through the car's battery to kind of collect the the heat and then goes back to you know its own uh, to the to where the usually pump is located and cools it down and then starts all over again and it's kind of a cycle right well it is very necessary to cool batteries down of course because of the performance issues because of recharging issues so uh, now before I go any further, let me remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There's a discount code in the description of this video for you guys, so you can save yourselves a few bucks. Um, now, just to kind of emphasize the Nissan, this is, we're talking about Nissan Leaf 2019, and this is what you know, really the best version of Nissan is going to be, despite the, the lack of the active uh, system, it is going to have LG Chem uh, batteries, it is going to have uh, the uh, the longer range. Now you're gonna have a choice of 150, one and 225. Um, the LG Chem battery is just a better quality of the battery. And of course they already have a much better body, a much, much better uh, body style. Now, I think only the time will tell if, um, you know, they're gonna have problems with uh, the battery. Batteries. I think the smart money uh, is on the fact that they will. Um, maybe one day they will finally figure it out. Um, the concept behind me, I hope, will have it by the time it comes out. Now, they're saying that this is still a concept car, but obviously they're going to be coming up with an SUV at some point and probably working off of this because it does look um, like uh, where the uh, Nissan uh, N Infinity design is, uh, I'm sorry, the, the Nissan N Infinity design is going to uh, in the next few years. All right, guys, well, let me know what you think. Do you think, would you be interested in the Nissan Leaf? Um, if you are interested in Nissan Leaf, do you think this is a deal breaker? Or if this is something that you're getting for three or four months, is still, you know, acceptable? Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.